Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shauna. This is Making Everyday Magic. For those of you who have been here, you know this is our fourth year of homeschooling. Our first year of homeschooling two kiddos. We have a third grader and a pre-Ker. And today I want to share with you our very first lesson with Matthew C. Primer. Guys, before we grow any further, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Today is our first day back from our Christmas break. It is also the first day of our spring semester and the first day that we are leveling up our pre k in both language arts and math. So we are going to start using Matthew C. Primer today. Before we did mathematical reasoning and she breezed right through it. Um, Matthew C. Primer is really the kindergarten level kit for Timber Doodle, um, but we feel like she's already finished. We're going to go ahead and see how it goes with the Matthew C. Primer here at the start of our spring semester and pre-K. Timber Doodle was kind enough when I reached out to them. They sent us the workbook. Um, we already had some of the supplies, but they sent us the primer workbook so that we can get started. If you guys would like links to anything I talk about here, absolutely down below in the description box. As you guys know, we've used Matthew C in the past. We used it both last year for second grade with my older kiddo and this year for third grade. We love it. Um, my older kid at least seems to grasp it and get a hold of it really well. And so I'm so excited to be bringing this in with our pre-k because I think she's going to have great success with it. We're familiar with it. We know how to use it. The great thing about Matthew C and with the Timber Doodle kits is that you can just level up. So I didn't have to repurchase another set of blocks. I didn't have to, we already, I picked up the DVD and the teacher's manual secondhand. So Timber Doodle literally just sent me the student workbook, which you can do as well if you have more than one kid in the same level, or if you have like have all of the supplies and say we taught primer last year, I just needed the student workbook. You can get just exactly what you need in those kits. It's so easy to swap it out, level up, level down, get just the student pack, get the full thing, skip the blocks. It's so simple. Um, on their website in, to just order exactly what you need and not get any of the excess, which also keeps your costs a lot lower. So if that's you, if you already have some of the stuff, then by all means, go get their kits because it's so much easier to, to save some money that way, especially if you already have the stuff. Today, I'm gonna take you along for our very first lesson with the Matthew C. Primer. Today's a big day. We're back in the thick of it. We're gonna see how I'm just ripping the bandaid off. I'm gonna take you guys along for the real and honest first look at this lesson. First lesson, she hasn't seen it. We've not, I've pulled it out to kind of prep, make sure I was on board, but that's it. So it's gonna, it might be a little painful. It might not be pretty, but here we go. Marilyn, you did a great job watching the video lesson. Did you love the video lesson? Yeah. Let's do it now. I know. Oh yeah, it is a woodpecker. Cool. Our, we saw them out front. Here. Okay, Marilyn, do you see these right here? Yes. These are ones. These are units. Okay. These are the unit blocks, okay? This one is tiny. That one is tiny. Our blocks are in our nice bin here. These are our unit blocks. Now here's our, our workbook. Mommy has the teacher's guide, but we also used our video. Now mommy loves that they have a video. Did you watch the video? Yeah. Okay, here's the deal. We don't flip around. Okay, we gotta start in number one. Are you ready? Here is 1A. All right, Marilyn, here we go. This says, here's your block. Which your unit. This says, lesson practice, count the blocks and circle the correct number. Now, these green blocks will fit right in your little squares here, so you can line them up if you want to, okay? Okay. So now, how many blocks? Two. Now, can you circle the two? What a great job. Can you do the next problem by yourself? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put four squares. Six. Six. So what are you going to do? Is that six? Is it six? Yes. Okay, great. 
Great job. You just finished your whole first math worksheet. Now, do you want to do this one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Mommy, one. One. Great job. Mom, it didn't make me, Mama, it didn't make me a whale. So how many are there? Zero. Zero. Great job. It's zero. Good job, Marilyn. Turn the page. Ooh. Ooh, tricky. But I think I should do this. Okay. How many I need? You don't know how many? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, this is it's okay. Tricky. Hey, hey, it's okay if it does that. It's not a big deal, okay? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, deep breath. This is not my book, though. It's okay. They don't have to stay in the little box, <laughs> Marilyn. You can just count. Did you get it? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, look. It's perfect. Mommy thinks it's perfect. Can, do you know how many there are? I want blankie. Okay. Okay. Hey, focus. How many? If you circle the number, you can be all done with math for today. How does that sound? again. <laughs> You're getting a little fussy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Great job. <laughs> Are you fussy they won't stay in place? Mm -mm. Okay. Do you want to be all done? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> It is? Let's go on the next. Oh, you want to do the next one? Okay. Let's just do it. Here. This one and do that. The next one tomorrow. Okay. You can do as much as you want. If you want, you don't have to put the squares on the back side. You can just count them with your finger if, if you want to do that. Okay? <laughs> you can just count. You don't have to use the counters if you don't need them. Let's do this one. Okay, now let's do this one. Easy. Okay. What does this say? What do you think you need to do? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, stop whining. Count and circle the correct number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. So what are you going to circle? Seven. Great job. Do you want to do frogs? Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. What? Do you want to turn the page? Oh, crayons. Trains first. Oh, you want to do trains first? Okay. Okay. So just look at the look at the instructions and then I. See uh oh. How many are here? Yeah, you counted how many trains. And we should circle how many trains down here. So, how many trains? <laughs> There's no reason to fuss. I do what I want. Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> Marilyn, come in. There you go. You just erase it. Good job. Good job. Look at that. Good as new. Great job, Marilyn. Mm, now it looks pink. Good job.
There's zero. There's zero. Perfect job, Marilyn. Is that better? That's perfect. Do you want to count count the crayons now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job, princess. And then we can do that next. Mm-hmm. We can do that next. Good job. Mm -hmm. One. Great job. Six. Great job. Yeah, we can be all done. Let me put a flag in there. And you can just pick up tomorrow, okay? Marilyn, you did a great job on that. Hey, can I ask you a question? Hmm? How was your first day of math? Good. It was very good. Did you like it? No, because of the tricky part. Because of the tricky parts? What was tricky? The trickiest part. Yeah. What do you think you like doing? You like doing math like sister? Yes. Did you like the video? Yes. Mama. And the workbook? Let's do that now. Okay. You like math? Mama. Are you hearing me, friend? Good job. Welcome back, guys. I hope that you found anything today helpful, entertaining, or informative. I can thank you to Timberdoodle for sending us the supplies that we needed. Links below in the description box. Guys, Um, this is what it's really like, right? In the first lesson. It's not always pretty. Sometimes it takes you a minute to get your footing, but you can succeed if you push through. So I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. I hope it it maybe helps you. We were unsure if we should level her up in the middle of the year, but as it went on, it definitely seemed to be the right thing to do. So I'm glad that we're doing it, even if it's a rocky start. I, um, I appreciate that we are able to make these decisions as homeschoolers to adjust and accommodate our kiddos as needed. That tailor-made education is truly invaluable. So guys, if you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.